This is Collard Valley Cooks, and today we're making a fudge icing, some homemade pound cake layers. And y'all, y'all are gonna wanna save this icing recipe because it is my family's favorite out of all the icings I make. y'all it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today we're making a delicious cake it is pound cake layers with fudge icing so you're going to want to make sure and get this fudge icing recipe because it will be a family favorite I promise all right first thing we're going to do is separate eight eggs just get you out eight eggs. You can separate them while they're still cold and let them sit out at room temperature, uh, you know, at least 30 minutes or so before you make your cake. Or if you're like me, you can separate them when they're already at room temperature, but you just gotta be really careful if you do that. We're gonna start with our egg whites. We'll be using this beautiful kitchen egg mixer that was gifted to us for my birthday. Um, from Bob, and then I had another viewer, Shirley Casto, that sent me the shoot that goes on it. So I'm super excited. This is a fun time. They're stiff enough. They look good. So I am going to put them in here. I got them look good and stiff. All right, when you beat up a cake, you always put in your butter and you uh, beat it until it's light and fluffy. And then you add your sugar. And then you add your eggs one at a time, and that's how you do every cake batter. to make this cake. And you don't have to have all purpose when you've got white lily. It's uh, winter white wheat. It's a beautiful cake flour. Um, I just don't have to put in the salt and the baking powder. So it makes it simpler, really. So we're gonna be using three and a quarter cups of flour and I'm using self-rising and we're going to be using a cup of milk. And so we'll add them alternately to the cake batter. And this mixer did really good. It has a really good low speed, so it didn't slosh any of the uh, flour everywhere like I do a lot, which is nice. It's a really pretty batter. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit and beat it for about a minute. Okay, so we're gonna get our egg whites into our batter. So you can start with about half of them and start folding them in. This, this batter is really a heavy batter but once we get these eggs in there, it's gonna lighten it up a lot. This is gonna be a really nice cake layer. All right, that's good. So you don't wanna just mix it, and you don't wanna put it in the mixer 
And now you're going to spray three pans. I like to use eight inch layers. And if you have nines, that's fine. This is three and a quarter cups of flour. So it's a large uh, amount of cake batter, which is good. going to be a delicious layered pound cake. Really pretty. Boy, is it going to be delicious, y'all, with some chocolate icing on it. Mm-mm, good. Once they're cool enough to touch the edges of it, now they're still hot, but you can't let it sit out past 10 minutes or so, or it'll sweat on the bottom and they'll stick to the pan. Alright, we are about to make Chris's favorite icing. He loves my fudge frosting in the volume one cookbook. He loves it so much he makes it for himself a lot if I don't have the energy to cook. Now this frosting in the cookbook calls for evaporated milk, but Chris likes to use water in place of the milk to make it a darker chocolate. Um, we are going to be using this recipe a viewer actually sent me this cookbook holder and it is amazing. I have to say I love it. So I just want to thank you for that. And we are going to start our recipe. Now the first thing you do is get out everything, including your cake layers, because as soon as this is done, you're going to want to be able to ice your cake. It's going to be really thin at first and then it will thicken as it cools. It's almost identical to what you make on the stove top except you don't have to go to the trouble of making sure all your sugar granules are melted because you're using powdered sugar, but the ingredients are the same if you use the canned milk, the evaporated milk. We're gonna start with three quarter cups of water and one and one half sticks of butter, and you're gonna to wanna to put that in the microwave and have it boiling, okay? So you want it to be boiling hot and once you've got that ready, make sure all of your ingredients are laid out, including your cake and what you're gonna ice it on. These layers we made the other day are so tall that I'm seriously thinking about splitting them and just making two layer cake. Well, actually it'll be a four layer cake because uh, me and Chris could actually have the other layer with another recipe and enjoy another cake. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using these two layers for this chocolate cake. This is super simple, y'all. So just watch. It's very easy. All right. Now, I like to add the powdered sugar to the mixing bowl with a touch of salt, add the cocoa, and whisk it on low so that it mixes it up really well, and then add the liquid. So we're going to do that first seven, and this will be eight. And you can use the whisk attachment if you want to to do this. Either way is fine. Now we're going to be adding three quarter cups of cocoa. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on low. So this is going to mix up the powdered sugar and cocoa so that it's evenly distributed. So it's three quarter cup. of butter. Alright, you can use evaporated milk if you want it to be milk chocolate or you can use water if you want it to be dark chocolate. I'm going to add a little vanilla to it and we're going to start pouring it into our mixer and before we forget, let's add a dash of salt because everything really sweet is great with a little bit of salt. And I am using salted butter as well. 
you can use margarine if you want to. Now look at that beautiful frosting and it's that simple. You can't beat it either. It's absolutely delicious. It is divine. I promise you will not be disappointed in this recipe and you will love it. All right, we're going to unwrap the layers that we made and I'm going to slice them. Now, if you're really good at slicing cake, you could probably, this one's tall enough, you could probably get three layers out of it. All right. Start this one. Whoops, I went down too far on that one. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Then you just slice the last one in half. So I tried to go down about a third of the way for the first layer. And there you have it. And try to stack them back the way that they were placed, okay? Now, let me wipe this off and we're gonna start icing our cake. Now when you got a cake that's this cold, and you've got icing that is thin. Just pour a little on it to start with. And it's already starting to thicken some, so be really careful and try not to get the crumbs to pull up from the cake. Now, if you're not an experienced cake decorator, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's a much easier to take this cake and um, bake them in very thin layers so that you have this surface to ice every time instead of it being fresh cake, because fresh cake is a lot harder to ice. I need a little bit more on that one. Not a lot, but a little. All right. And when you're icing in between this many layers, it will take more icing. Now, if this icing were thinner, <clears throat> I took a few minutes splitting these layers. I probably should have done it before we started. All right, here we go. 
This is it. Are ready to finalize it? I'm going to put you at a different angle so you can see better. I do not want to make a mess of this beautiful layered cake. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. My icing has gotten pretty thick. You see that? And so I'm just going to warm it up just a second, and then we're going to pour it on the cake. All right. I just stuck it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Uh, it's got all that butter in it, so it's going to melt and get really thin again. And there's nothing to it, so do not ruin your cake. Just warm it back up. You'll see how nice and horrible it is now. And we're just going to pour it on the cake. Gonna need a little more. That looks good, don't it? Woo, what a good looking cake. Now that's just two of my pound cake layers because they're really, really tall. It's a large recipe. So keep that in mind when you make it. It's gonna make a lot of cake. So if you wanna, it's so much cake that you could use each single layer of three and make a different cake out of them if there's just a few of you and not have to make an enormous cake like this. Just freeze the layers, get it out, make a coconut cake one week and a chocolate cake one week and just play with it. All right, that's it. Now let's put a little design on the top. And that's all there is to it, y'all. All there is to it. They look good. All right, we're going to clean up the sides and slice you guys a piece. Now, my mama catered weddings and made wedding cakes and groom's cakes and birthday cakes. And one thing we learned real quick is if you want to cut a cake and it look really pretty and neat, make sure that you have some hot water, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to cut a slice. I'm going to dip my cake server in the hot water. Now this cake is really tall. It's as tall as the server piece and that's just two of my layers from that cake recipe. We're gonna go ahead and cut us a piece. I'm going ahead and cut another one. If I don't, it won't come out pretty. The first piece never does. It's hard to get your server underneath it and it come out neat. So here we go. And of course, Chris is fishing. There's our layer cake, y'all. It looks really pretty. I think I did pretty good considering, and it's gonna be delicious too. Let's try a bite of it. Pound cake is a really nice cake to use for this type of cake 
because it is more a little more dense and it would hold up better to cut in these small layers. So keep that in mind too if you want to make a cake like this. Let's dig in. All right, let's give it a try. You're gonna need a scoop of ice cream and a tall glass of milk. So good. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, y'all love ya. Y'all come back and see us. Hit that like and subscribe button. And please try this fudge icing. Yummy. And remember, you don't have to ice this many layers if you do want to make a cake mix. Bye, y'all. See ya.